While most ADHD studies have focused on children and adolescents, the disorder also has a substantial negative impact on the daily lives of adults diagnosed with ADHD. Atomoxetine was approved in Japan in 2009 for the treatment of ADHD in children and adolescents, but it was approved for adults in 2012. This retrospective cohort study was conducted to help address a lack of information in current literature. It describes the baseline characteristics, treatment patterns, and diagnostic monitoring of adults with ADHD being treated with atomoxetine. This is one of the first studies conducted in Japan to evaluate a large cohort of adult patients from an administrative database and assess treatment patterns and resource utilization associated with ADHD treatment. Nearly 72% of patients had at least one comorbid health condition in the baseline period. Non-ADHD specific psychotropics were prescribed to 60% of patients during the baseline period and 66% during the follow-up period. Japanese physicians have very limited information on the physical comorbidities of ADHD patients. Now the data on comorbidities our study provides could be an important finding for the neurodevelopmental world. Some physicians have raised concerns about the tolerability or efficacy in using antidepressant augmentation strategy for ADHD patients with depression. However, our results reported that in the real world, many physicians are actually comfortable prescribing non-ADHD specific psychotropics with atomoxetine. Overall, 40% of adults discontinued atomoxetine during the entire follow-up period and 66% were persistent at three months post-index date. Adherence and persistence are important factors in achieving optimal clinical outcomes. And the findings from our study on atomoxetine discontinuation and switch suggest that there may be an unmet medical need.